welcome everyone to our speed for careers online live class and uh, in this class we are going to talk about digital marketing career excellence course and this is a basic course okay and uh, in this class the objective uh, we are going to first discuss the objective of this course means why you should learn about digital marketing and why you should learn about digital marketing uh, career excellent co excellence course from speed for career okay so in this particular course we are going to learn first about the opportunities that are available in this digital marketing field in Kolkata as well as in India then we are going to discuss the basic technology of a digital marketing campaign how you can create a campaign and what is digital marketing campaign and all these things we are going to define and explain the concept platforms and channels of digital marketing we are also going to discuss the integrated digital digital marketing concepts into a basic marketing plan means how you can create a basic marketing plan of a product or service or of a company using digital marketing concepts we are going to evaluate the the good and the bad aspects of digital marketing plan okay so this particular spelling i have written god it's it's going to be it's supposed to be good okay so uh, please uh, excuse me and this spelling mistake and in this course we are going to understand we are going to learn or we are going to understand the basic of search engine optimization uh, which is uh, one of the main ingredient for digital marketing and we are going to learn what is search engine optimization and what are the basic uh, process or what are the basic rules and regulations of search engine optimization and how Google search is uh, no uh, is connected to this particular word search engine optimization and whole concept of digital marketing then in the project area means at, at the end of this course we are going to have a project we are going to offer a uh, a problem statement to you and you all have to uh, give some details about uh, that particular project so how we are going to uh, in that project we are going to give you an understanding of uh, how you can create a digital marketing plan or digital marketing campaign for a particular brand or for a particular uh, product okay so that is how we are going to have the project at the end of this course so moving forward now we are going to discuss about the course syllabus so in this course what we are going to learn okay so let me open our pdf file okay so in this course in the first class that is to in today's class we are going to learn about the opportunities that are available in the digital marketing field and we will discuss about the opportunities available in the digital marketing both from the general job fields and uh, and those are available in india as well as in kolkata in the second class uh, we are going to talk about the technology and platform for digital marketing campaign prerequisites and devices to run a digital marketing campaign like mobilities device laptop desktop mobile phones tab etc etc the concept of in the third class or third session we are going to learn about the concept of channels of digital marketing and like marketing segmentation and targeting we are not going to go deep inside these words uh, we are just going to give you a brief idea and definition of what is marketing segmentation and what is targeting and how it is related to digital marketing we are going to give you a brief idea about what is brand and branding and understanding of these two concepts, how it can help you uh, to understand the concept of digital marketing. So 
Uh, and in the integrated marketing communication, in the next session, we are going to understand the concept of integrated marketing communication. Integrated marketing communication approach and how you can use that to you uh, to you know in you know um, increase your digital marketing uh, campaigns success. Okay, then we are going to discuss about. Uh, various marketing channels which is used in digital marketing like omni channel search engine uh, social media marketing and b2b b2c enterprise and all these things and we are going to create uh, in this session uh, at the end of this session we are going to create a basic digital marketing model for a business or for a product in the fourth session uh, we are going to talk about the best practices uh, and and the poor aspect of digital marketing plan means what you should do in a digital marketing plan or uh, what you should avoid uh, during a making a digital marketing plan so uh, in the fourth session we are going to learn about the do's and don'ts what should what are the plans you should do during a marketing campaign or digital marketing campaign and what are the plans you should do and she should not do uh, during a digital marketing campaign. In the fifth session, we are going to understand the concept of search engine optimization. And there are two types of search engine optimization, on-page SEO and off-page SEO. And this is, uh, in this session, we are going to not go inside the search engine optimization, deep inside search engine optimization. We are just going to uh, give you an overview of the whole concept of uh, search engine optimization. And most of the cases, we are going to define the concept and define the concept, uh, related concept with search engine optimization, like on-page SEO and what is SEO, what is traditional, uh, traditional SEO, and uh, what is H1 tag and how the, the basic search engine works, especially how Google works. Because to understand search engine optimization, you need to understand how Google works. Okay, uh, so we are going to discuss this during this particular session of search engine optimization. Uh, then keywords and definition of keywords and how there, there are various types of keywords we are going to discuss in this session. And in the off-page SEO, we are going to discuss about the importance of uh, off-page SEO. What are the what are the types of off-page SEO, and what is robot TXT, and how you should integrate that into your website's root folder. Uh, what is blog and what is forum and their importance of that. So most of the cases we are going to define the concept or we are going to define the words. And uh, from there on, we are going to try to relate how this knowledge can help you understanding a digital marketing campaign for your own company or for your clients uh, company or their products. And as I was talking uh, uh, during uh, the objective of uh, the course, uh, uh, I was talking about uh, a project work. And uh, right now uh, we have uh, defined a project work, but at any point at the end of the course, uh, this project works can change. Okay, uh, right, right now what we are thinking about giving you a project is you sh we are going to give you a problem statement and you are going to create a digital marketing campaign uh, with that problem statement in that in this process we might ask you to create a website or with the product uh, where you need to create or you need to give us a digital marketing camp campaign plan depending on what are the knowledge you are going to learn in this entire course details so this particular uh, course is going to be taken by Mr. Tanmay Sain, uh, who is a former Microsoft employee and former Dell India employee, uh, has more than seven years of experience in digital marketing, and also he is pursuing executive program in digital marketing and social media strategies from IIM Kolkata. And I am also going to uh, take care some of the some part of this course. And I believe you already know me. I'm uh, Shangbaran Karmakar. I did my MBA from VIT University in 2006, 2008. And I also worked in uh, companies like American Express and Eureka Forbes and Xilox system. 
and I have around nine years of experience in digital marketing and social media marketing strategies. So this is a complete uh, overview of the course subjects that we are going to cover during uh, this digital marketing career excellence basic course. And the core objective of uh, this course is to make you understand that whether you can have a career in digital marketing or not, whether your knowledge, existing knowledge or your background education qualification can help you to have a better digital marketing career. And if you understand or if you get excited that yes, with your knowledge, we can have, you can have a good digital marketing career as a digital marketer or, or as a search engine optimization expert or as a social media marketer or as a copywriting writer of um, career. Then you can come back to us and tell that how I can get these jobs. Okay, what are the skill set and how, uh, what are the questions they ask in this, uh, this kind of job um, interviews. When we are going to ask that question to us, uh, we are going to give you other details. So the basic idea of this course is to make you understand your own knowledge and analyze yourself that whether you can have a career in digital marketing or not. So going back, so I'm just going to uh, unmute everyone. If you have uh, any question, you can ask me at this point. Uh, I have unmuted everyone. Uh, Spondon, do you have any question or uh, uh, or three? Uh, do you have any question? Uh, no, not right now. Okay, so uh, right now, uh, Rajkumar, I know that you are not. I'm. I'll be not able to hear you. But if you have any, if you have any question, you can just write it down in the chat message. Okay. So I have not got any chat reply. So it's good. Okay. Good. So uh, I'm again going to mute everyone and then go forward with my presentation. Okay. So I'm muting all of you and going back to my presentation. So I just spoke about the course syllabus. Now, let me give you a brief idea about what is digital marketing. Okay. And this is just a brief idea in the next class. Uh, Mr. Tanma is going to be there and he is going to take uh, in details. Uh, he's going to give you in details idea about what is digital marketing and how it works and everything. I'm just giving you an overview of digital marketing. In common sense or in general, digital marketing, which is also known as a data driven marketing is an umbrella term for the entire concept of marketing. Okay. So digital marketing comes under marketing and this digital marketing is a concept of marketing of products or services using digital technologies, mainly on the internet, but also including mobile phones, that is smartphones, display advertisement, that display advertisement, what you see maybe um, during a, a search in Google or in a, you, you also see that in, in, in your Facebook timeline. Okay. So this kind of advertisement, display advertisement in any other digital medium like YouTube video, when you open a YouTube video, sometimes you see a video ad or video advertisement. So that is also a digital, that, uh, digital medium and that also comes under digital marketing. So this is the basic definition of digital marketing. So why digital marketing? means why you should bother about digital marketing, why I bother about digital marketing, why I am so passionate about digital marketing and I'm so passionate about teaching digital marketing. Why? So the first thing is that in India is going digital. Okay. And more and more people are using digital medium for communication, WhatsApp is there, Facebook is there, Twitter is there, Snapchat is there, Instagram is there, YouTube is there, Twitter is there, 
so many things are there and uh, people are continuously communicating and creating a profile, creating a dialogue, creating relationship, uh, giving reference to the people, talking about some product, giving a review, talking about, about movie, talking about Coca-Cola, talking about washing machine, talking about AC, everything, every product. They're talking about these products or these services or these brands on a digital medium platform. More and more people, more and more Indian, even more and more global people, they're using digital marketing or digital medium platform. Most of the companies are also trying to use these digital medium platforms to reach to their potential customers because in the first point we have discussed that all these people, that is the potential customers for the companies are in the digital medium platform. So the companies are also going to these digital medium platforms like Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and they're trying to reach out to these people and make them a potential customer or convert them into their buying or paid customers. And because of the above stated two points, that a whole digital marketing campaign is becoming an integral part for every single business concept. So that is why we should bother or we should care about digital marketing. As a person who is trying to look for a digital marketing career or as a businessman who is trying to promote his business or product on digital marketing platform, we should bother or we should care about digital marketing because this is going to be the next big thing in the, in the industry of marketing. Okay. Another point why we, we should care about digital marketing or why we should learn digital marketing. In this point, in this list, you can see that India is in, in the second position in terms of internet user globally. Okay. United States in third position, Brazil in the fourth, China is in first position. But one important thing is this particular percentage. This is 26% means only 26% of Indian people are using internet connection. Okay. And where almost 50% of China's population they are using or somehow they are connecting uh, their devices to um, the internet uh, and they are doing some digital activities. But this particular percentage is so important that India is going so uh, fast in the digital marketing era. Okay, so that is one of the biggest thing that India is in, in the second position in the total number of internet users. So that's why more and more uh, Indian companies as well as uh, global MNC companies, they are trying to invest in digital marketing in Indian soil. This is a particular uh, graph shown to you from 2011 to 2016, that is last year. And this particular value like uh, 1140, 1750, or this 70, uh, 7044. This number in crores, INR, Indian rupee in crores. In 2011, 1,140 crores was the investment in the digital marketing in India. In 2016, the total investment in digital marketing is 7,044 crores, Indian rupee. Okay, so that is the growth, almost 35% growth in last five years or six years. And this growth is going to be there for another five years or 10 years. So more and more people and more and more companies are going to invest in India and invest in digital marketing. So there is a huge growth opportunity is there in India. And that's why there is a huge growth opportunity for digital marketers. Okay. 
this is another diagram. This is given in the uh, dollar. The previous diagram was in the INR or crores, and this diagram was is given in the dollar and mil, million millions. Okay, so let's see this how uh, the people are projecting how sh the the Indian digital market will be in next five years time, from 2015 to 2020. So total media ad spend, expenditure or spending by 2020, it will be 11,821 million dollars. Okay, one dollar is equal to 64 rupees and this is 11,821 million dollars. And people are calculating that the digital and internet digital ad spending will be around 2390 million dollars out of this total media expenditure the digital marketing will be 2390 million dollars and in the mobile ad spending means smartphone mobile when you open a app like wellex or you know, app like uh, true color you find there's there there is some uh, you know, advertisement. If you open Ghana.com uh, mobile app or Wellex mobile app, you are going to find that uh, there is there are some ads. So that is the uh, you know the mobile ad spending, and that should be around by 2020. It it should be around 1,200 million dollars. So that is the amount of in, you know investment in next five years. The digital marketing industry is going to experience and that is how the digital marketing uh, industry is going to grow and that is why you should care about digital marketing if you care about a career in digital marketing because the opportunities in digital marketing industry are going to increase in a very rapid space so let uh, and before uh, this particular slide we we gave you an understanding of the growth of um, the Indian uh, digital marketing industry. Now in this slide, we are going to talk about the opportunities in career. If you, if you want to pursue a career in digital marketing, okay. How many means in digital marketing, you can have uh, various kind of roles and job opportunities. Okay. The first thing uh, you can have in digital marketing, a, a job role that you can have is digital marketing manager. You can work in a company as a SEO executive. SEO means search engine optimization executive. You can also work in a company uh, as a social media marketing expert. You can also work in a company as a content marketer or copywriter. You can also get a job in a company as SEO expert or specialist. There is a difference between SEO executive, the second point, and the SEO expert or specialist. It's like, like in, when you become a SEO specialist, you become a team leader. So there will be ex SEO executives under you, like four or five, or I have seen people with more than 15 SEO executives uh, as a team leader means I have uh, there all there was one of my colleague in my previous uh, companies he had around 15 SEO executives under him and used to handle more than million dollars of business now you can also have a career in uh, digital marketing as an inbound marketing manager we are going to discuss about what you, uh, what is inbound marketing and what is outbound marketing in uh, at later stage but you can have a career as an inbound marketer or marketing manager, which is also a, a, a job segmentation for a digital marketer. You can also have like there are job responsibility called that, that, that is named by the people as conversi conversion rate optimizer. Means you as a digital marketer, when join that particular company, your job is to increase the sales of the, you know, uh, revenue or the profit of that company and you have to use digital marketing to drive that profit or sales or that revenue so that particular uh, job responsibility is uh, named as conversion rate optimizer 
So as a digital marketer, you can have almost these eight types of career. And all this uh, heading, digital marketing manager, they are is, is a separate job category or job responsibility. Okay, so if you want to pursue your career in digital marketing, you can you have these eight options. In these eight options, you can select any of the options and uh, have your career in these uh, any of these options. Okay, so moving on to the next slide. I'm just going to give you a brief idea about how a digital marketer's career is going to look in the Kolkata area. Okay. Look at this image very carefully. Okay. You can go to this particular website called payscale.com and you can type that as uh, Payscale India. And you're going to find the salaries for every Indian job responsibility. Okay. So look at this digital marketing manager in Kolkata, West Bengal. It earns about 335,526 rupees per year. Okay. It's the average salary for a digital marketing manager in Kolkata. And if you look at here, okay, just so let me, at the bottom, okay, this particular area, the total pay, it can go up to almost 8 lakhs rupees per annum, okay, depending on your work experience. I have seen people making more than 10 lakhs per annum with around seven to 10 years experience in digital marketing. Okay, that is, I have seen, uh, I had a manager, he used to earn that amount of money and I have seen it, that is from my personal experience. So if you want to pursue a career in digital marketing in Kolkata, the minimum salary will be around 90,000 and but the maximum salary you can have uh, it's like around 8 lakhs rupees. Definitely to get to that point with 8 lakhs rupees uh, salary, you need to have an MBA. If you have an MBA degree in marketing and marketing as one of the specialization and then you can have uh, and uh, if you have an experience in digital marketing industry, you can easily get eight lakhs rupees salary even in Calcutta. If you go outside, if you have that dream or if you have that vision to go outside West Bengal and have a career, maybe in Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad or Mumbai, you can earn more than 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs because um, the, the salary amount is much, much higher in those cities like Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, or Mumbai. So it, you can all easily get more than four lakhs or five lakhs, more than this average salary of 3.35 lakhs in outside states like, or outside cities like Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai, and Mumbai, okay? So this is the whole career idea of digital marketing or as a digital marketing manager. And if you want to pursue a career in Kolkata, this is going to be a average salary range for you as a digital marketer. Go to this particular website called payscale.com um, and you can type like SEO executive or SEO specialist. You can type as a copywriter and find out the salaries. You will get a idea about how much salary you can earn if you have if you pursue a career in this particular industry okay so i believe this is what um, we are going to say in this class and let me tell you give you a is a brief idea about what we are going to learn in the next class that is on next sunday what we are going to learn and uh, 
we are going to learn in the next class is technology and platforms for digital marketing campaign we require these devices to run a digital marketing campaign this is very important for a digital marketers point of view you need to understand what are the things uh, that you need to know about um, uh, as a digital marketer what are the devices and laptop devices you should have what are the softwares you should have uh, what kind of ways operating system you are going to use so all these things uh, you need to know if you want to have a digital marketing career okay so i believe uh, this is it thank you very much uh, for uh, attending this class and i believe i was able to give you a uh, good point of view and uh, details of the classes uh, so see you in the next class and uh, i will get in touch with you individually and if you have any question and query or if you want to learn anything apart from whatever i have shown you in this uh, particular course details please uh, call me or email me and we can have a, a details uh, session on that also and uh, this video I, I believe i am recording i am sure i uh, i was recording this yes i am recording this and uh, once you create a profile inside our website from with the registration uh, uh, form that we have you are going to see this video uh, inside your profile so you are going to, you can uh, watch or review the video and the class remember that uh, again yes uh, so uh, we are going to uh, record this session and going to upload the video uh, to your profile so you need to uh, have a registration with the digital marketing course and uh, you can review the videos and if you please remember that there sh there will be a quiz or there will be a an examin on which will be up uploaded uh, very soon and you need to attend that exam uh, for this particular class there will be some quiz question yes no basis question and uh, please review that a few please uh, attend the exam and then uh, we can also have our second class on next sunday okay so thank you very much i'm just uh, closing this class and i will get in touch with you individually and then we are going to talk about other uh, details if you have any other queries please message me or uh, email me and we can uh, take it further